Now we have um, a ba ba basket full of the Cistus ladanifer, the gum rock rose that we've now chopped up um, to increase the surface area so that the water can extract more easily and get the maximum of extraction. And we're going to now put this over into our Alembic. Now the Alembic is a very old and traditional apparatus that was used by Avicenna back in thousands of, in thousands of years ago to distill off um, aromatic waters, which are also called hydrosols or hydrolats or floral waters. And um, this is a 35 litre Alembic, which is perfectly sufficient for making these uh, aromatic waters. But if you want to make essential oils, you would need a minimum of double this size, 70 litres. And you would also need a column here, a steam distillation column, which increases the opportunity for steam distillation um, distillates to go off into, into the steam medium, which then gets um, channeled, funneled into um, that that's going to connect up to that pipe and then this pipe is a, is a coil within this condenser um, which has now got this pump. There's a pump in this bucket and that is pumping water into the condenser to keep the water cool because the water heats up with the, the steam distillate coming down which is at 100 degrees centigrade so it's very hot, it's steam and it needs to be cooled in this condenser by a continual circulation of the water to allow for cooling of the water as it's coming out, accumulating in this bucket and then going back in. So there's a pipe going underneath, back into the top. So um, what we're gonna do now is, we're going to put this copper plate that's got little legs on it in at the base. And this is so that the plant material isn't in direct contact with the heat source, because otherwise it's just gonna cook rather than be infused with the water. Uh, that will allow the steam come, to come off. So what we're going to do now is put our plant material inside here. And um, we've already got five, measured out five litres of water because you want a ratio of two parts plant to about four to six parts water. So we, we definitely want to cover the plant material And the smell is amazing. And as we were gathering these, the resin was so sticky. I mean, our hands were just like we had oil on them. And to get the flowers off our hands into the collecting basket was quite a challenge. And also to get any insects that found their way on there. We, we selected only flowers that didn't already have insects on there, which was quite difficult because so many of them were covered in these um, black flies and little black beetles that were hovering like a cloud above the, the plants as well. So now we've got our plant material in here. I'm just evening out the surface height. Oh, the smell is really beautiful. And we're going to pour our five litres of water on, which we hope will be sufficient to cover the plant material. So I'm just going to use a wooden spoon to make sure the plant material is under the water. It's like cooking. Another litre in just for good luck, just to make sure that's totally covered. So we've got six litres of water in there, and theoretically, we should be able to extract 
a similar amount of aromatic water, but it, you, it, that's such a long process that that would take like six or seven hours. So we're going to be happy if we can get a litre or a litre and a half off. So what I'm going to do now is set all this up, firm that in, connect this here. And then I need to put a thermometer up here, which um, I can start to note at what point the aromatic water is coming off. And if we're lucky, we might even get a film of essential oil accumulating on the top, forming on the top, which will come off later because that's requiring more of the steam, that's a steam distillation process rather than just the water distillation process that we're um, using for the aromatic water. So if we're lucky, we might get a thin layer of essential oil uh, towards the end. So I'm going to sign off now and we'll come back in once, I'm going to put the heat under here and then once everything is um, going through its process and starts to come out the other end here, at this, this pipe ending here where we've got our collecting jug, um, we'll come back and let you know how we got on. Okay, see you in a bit.